Hello guys, Fine here, and it's literally the time has just gone so quick. This month has gone past ridiculously. That's I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, I would just like to say I'm sorry for the lack of videos recently. Um, I've I've just been extreme. Why is my camera flashing? I'm really confused why it's flashing. Uh, right. So apparently it's not even on focusing on me. It's focusing on my bloody. Alarm clock? Well, anyway, let's just hope my camera's focusing on me. So yeah, for the lack of videos recently, it's just been... I've had a lot of work to do. Um, uni's... I've got all my deadlines this month. I've been working a lot. And so that's why. I'm sorry, but this really annoying me. So that's gonna go. Ugh. Okay, hopefully it'll focus on me now. Right, so yeah, um, I've had a lot of deadlines recently, so I've just been focusing on uni work, and I've been working a lot, and um, I hope everyone had a nice, it's doing it again, oh, and I hope everyone had a really, really nice Easter. Um, I did actually film a monthly favourites last month, but somehow I deleted the footage, and I'm not going to lie, I was literally too lazy, and I didn't really have enough time to re-film it, um, so I just left it so I'm sorry about that but anyway I'm back with my March favourites yes March favourites um I have got quite a bit of a selection for you so I'm just gonna go in and I hope you enjoy this video so I'm gonna start with um two products which um but this brand I literally don't ever mention anymore and it is Lush I don't really go into Lush and don't really buy many Lush things anymore um, I don't know why, I just, I had a massive obsession with Lush, Lush before I came to uni and it kind of stopped but now I'm kind of back into Lush products. So I've got two things I'm going to show you. Um, the only reason I did actually go into Lush was because it was my friend's birthday and I was going to get him some Lush stuff. But anyway, so I got this bubblegum lip scrub and oh my god, it is an amazing lip exfoliator. If you have like them like them days where your lips just need that extra like help then I definitely recommend getting something like this um in Lush they have many many different flavours I got bubblegum um I actually just apply it in the morning and literally it just helps bring my lips to life the next thing that I bought is the mask of magnimitant oh why can't I never say these things Mask of Magnumenton, that's not how I say it, basically this, um, it's basically a face and body mask, they do quite a few different ones, it's literally like, a just a typical face mask inside, it does literally just smell of peppermint, um, I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint, but I can deal with it, and I have to say, it's an it's one of my favourite face masks in a long, long time. It's literally helped. Like I haven't had any I haven't had breakouts since using this, and uh, I think this has definitely helped. Um, yeah, I haven't had breakouts. Finally, I haven't had breakouts, which is perfect for like coming into summer, not having breakouts. So it also just helps with that redness not being so red. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the thing that I just kind of mentioned coming into summer. I bought some new sunglasses and if I am literally the worst person when it comes to sunglasses. I hate sunglasses on me. I can never find any sunglasses that look good on me. And uh, so I went shopping with my friend and came across these bad boys. And who just texted me? Ugh. And I came across these bad boys. And um, basically I got these from Urban Decay. They look like this work it girl and I actually think these are like the only pair of sunglasses that fit that suit my face um they're thin framed and normally I don't like thin framed but you know what they I, I love them I feel so cool with them on so yeah and these were about 16 pounds and then you get a student discount if you're a student on top so I got these from Urban Outfitters the next thing I'm going to talk about is um a shower product. I'm just, sorry, I'm just literally just looking around because I'm really not because I organised with this. I've literally got products all around me. So the next thing is a shower thing, and it is the Bayless and Harding. Why did that take me so long to say? Bayless and Harding French lavender and French lavender and Cassis 
calming body wash. And it looks like it looks it looks like this. I've already used half a bottle of this in a month. Um, there's literally just something smoothing about this product. I put this all over my body in the shower, and it just kind of like calms and relaxes me. And I really really like it. So yeah, and it literally does smell. Oh, it just dripped it all over me. That's fantastic. And it literally just smells of lavender. So if you don't like lavender, then I recommend you never go near this product, ever. So the next two products I'm going to talk about are both makeup products. So the first thing I want to talk about is a new primer which I've been trying, which is the by L'Oreal Paris, and this is the Inflammable Mattifying Base. Um, looks like this. When I first bought this, I kind of picked this up by accident. When I first bought this primer, I kind of thought it was, um, like, uh, an energising primer. It helped give you, make your skin look alive and, like, glow. But no, it's a mattifying primer, which is perfect as well for me because I need to be mattified. I literally sweat water off my face and I'm dreading summer when it gets really, really hot and has powder my face like 20 times a day, it's just not gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, mattifying uh, base by L'Oreal Paris, inflammable, shit. Um, inflammable, well, let me just say that again, by L'Oreal Paris, inflammable mattifying base. I would definitely recommend trying this if you have like oily skin and it's literally about seven pounds. The next makeup product is something quite new to me and it is a CC. Um, makeup product, which basically means colour corrector. Um, I don't really use a lot of colour correctors, like makeup product. I haven't got the time and I just think it's so much effort and CBA. But I came across this by Max Factor and it's the colour corrector um, under eye circles kind of like concealer. So it basically, um, you can wear this on your own, you can literally just put some under your, under your eyes and then just blend it, or you can put this on and then put your normal concealer on, which is what I do. Um, it does take a bit more time whilst doing your makeup because you've got to put enough of product on your face. However, it really, really does get rid of them circles under your eyes. And the problem I was having was some days I would have really, really dark circles and I'd put concealer under my eyes and literally it would go cakey because I'd put so much concealer under the eyes and it would just get cakey. So with this, I don't need to use as much. So it still looks like skin, doesn't get cakey, and I still look awake, and it gets with them nasty, nasty dark circles. So if you have dark circles, this is the product for you. <laughs> the last two products have both been hair products. So I've recently, finally bought my own hair dryer. I've been using my friend's hair dryer for the last two months, and I know, I know, I, it's weird to say that I don't own a hair dryer and I'm 20, I'm gay, and I've never had my own hair dryer. Well, it's changed, I have my own hair dryer now, and um, I kind of had to get some products with that, of course. So the first thing I bought was the Fio5 Plump It Up um, Amplifying Blow Dry Lotion. Looks like this. Um, it's also just like a heat spray, heat defense, so you don't get any, like, your hair's not as damaged um, as well, and also just, gives it that bit more volume, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I've got a bit more volume. Um, yeah, just get this, like, literally, I've done, I've used, what am I even saying, I've blow dried my hair without this, and I know it's a big difference, but the without and before, that didn't make any sense. I've made, I know, that, I've noticed the difference when using this rather than not using this. Yeah? So, I recommend this if you really like your like roots being lifted and you just like volumed hair. The very last favourite this month is again a hair product and this is um, Ice Raspy and Vanilla, Vanilla Styling Mousse by... who is it by? Ugh. Urban Fudge. <laughs> it's also heat protector and anti frizz and it's a really really good hold. This is the first mousse I've ever ever used on my hair. I mean you get this from Super Drug and Boots. I think it's around four pounds. And literally it's a really really good mousse. And it does smell like raspberry and vanilla. And literally um it just does a mousse job. It it gets them fly away. It just literally really helps 
um, mould your hair without making it look really stiff and rigid and it doesn't look like it's packed with product which is the look I normally go for. So they are all my favourites and I really hope you enjoyed my March favourites video. If you did then make sure you give this a thumbs up video and if you have any other video suggestions then leave them in the comments. So hopefully I will be making more videos like and keep making videos um, and try and get some more videos out but obviously I've got all my deadlines so my main focus is on that but then after 15th of May I am all yours so if you have any video suggestions leave them in the comments like I just said and make sure you follow me on Instagram check out my blog you know, you know all the you know all the stuff so I love you guys and I'll see you soon Mwah.